everybody out there on YouTube. This is 444RR with a new magic trick. Don't ask me what's going to happen in this trick. I have no idea because I just got this trick from the Trick of the Month Club and, and Acme Magic. They sent it to me, and they send me one trick a month. Where no matter where I am in the world, they send me one magic trick. And this is the one they sent me. I haven't even looked at it really yet. I mean, what you see here is what I've done. Put it on the table, and it's supposed to be ready to go. So we're going to learn it because we have an audio CD that goes along with it. So we're going to learn this together, and we're going to see what happens. So here we go. I'm going to start the audio CD. Let me go get, let me get the audio CD up here. And we're going to start it. Here we go. Not that one. Wait a minute. Sorry. Here we go. Hello and welcome to Acme Magic. Today you are going to learn the famous $100 bottle and glass trick. For this trick you will need two tubes, one bottle, and one glass. You won't need that extra bottle. Save that for later. The idea of this trick is to make a bottle change places with a glass and a glass change places with a bottle. In order for this trick to be successful, the glass must be the same distance from the bottle as the bottle is from the glass. Now, let's start the trick. Cover the bottle with one tube and the glass with the other. Make a magical gesture. Don't overact. And the bottle and the glass have changed places. Don't lift the tubes yet. You are only going to pretend they change places. That's the $100 secret. You only pretend they change places. Now, let's start over. Cover the bottle with one tube and the glass with the other. Make a magical gesture and the glass and the bottle have changed places. Remember the secret. Now the hard part is making them change back. Make a magical gesture, and now you can lift the tube showing they are back in their original position. You've just learned the famous $100 bottle and glass trick. I know what you're thinking, money well spent. Sometimes your audience won't be fooled by this method, so you have to try another approach. Again, cover the bottle, cover the glass, make a magical gesture showing the bottle becomes a glass, and the glass becomes a bottle, and back again. Any questions? Yeah, I Now got... remember, the tube on the left is the tube that goes over the bottle, and the tube on the right... Hey, wait a minute, that's too many bottles. The tube on the right goes over the glass, which immediately makes the glass become the bottle, and the bottle become the glass. Now remember, the tube on the right is the tube that goes over the bottle, and the tube on your left, that's too many bottles. The tube on your left goes over the glass, which immediately makes the bottle become the glass, and the glass become the bottle. Now, it is also possible to do the trick using just one tube, one bottle, and one glass. Cover the glass with a tube, which immediately becomes a bottle, and the bottle becomes, you guessed it, the glass. But to do that, you need another bottle. You see, the tube covers the glass, which immediately becomes a bottle, and the bottle becomes, you guessed it, the glass. But to do that, you need another bottle. Do you have any questions? Yeah, At this point, some people might ask how the trick works. Some people might know how the trick works. And most people really don't care. They will often accuse you of using more than one glass. Of course, you know there is never more than one glass. Maybe another bottle or two, but never an extra glass. Of course, for this trick to really work, you know you'll need two more bottles. Sometimes you won't even use a glass. Now you've just learned the famous $100 bottle and glass trick. Remember, don't tell the audience how it works. All right, and that is the multiplying bottles. Uh, this is a standard set of martini multiplying bottles. It's got the martini on the front, and it's really cool. This is Multiplying bottles is a really cool trick. Once you get your routine nailed down with it, uh, because I had tried doing the Lance Barton routine, 
And I and it works and it works. It works. It really does. The Lance Burton, the, the one Lance Burton does uh, in his stage show, it didn't I mean it works for anybody if you know you're doing it, but I didn't like it. I thought it was just kind of like, look, the bottle and glass change. And it was just like, mm. it's like, okay. Ugh. Well, I mean, some people's style that fits. For my style, I love doing kind of like the, the just having the, having a fun time when you're watching it. And that trick was kind of like, okay, we'll watch them change. And it's like, mm. this routine though, and this is by, by uh, I want to say by Paul Romney, by the way, first. Paul Romney thought up the idea to do this. And he took the idea, of course, from the Vanishing Bandana, where it's like a, supposed to be a magic CD that teaches you how to do the trick, and boom, you know, it's telling you, and then you, you mess up because they, in the Vanishing Bandana, they send you a banana instead of a bandana, and then you make the banana vanish at the end of the trick. It's really cool. This is kind of the same thing. You do the Trick of the Month Club, you don't know what's going to happen, you do the trick, and it, you know, works out at the end. It's a really great trick. This is a, this is a totally awesome trick. Uh, it uses any standard set of multiplying bottles. I made a couple changes. I'll talk about that in a minute. This you can probably find in any magic store. I mean, really. I've got it with Penguin Magic. I'm sure Elmwood sells it. I'm sure Magic Warehouse sells it. But it's it's all it's called is Romney's Multiplying Bottle Routine. It's by Paul Romney and includes a DVD and an audio CD. Now, if you notice at the beginning of the of the video, I screwed up a little bit because I, the music started playing and I stopped it and started it again because there's two tracks on here, the male track and the female track. You can use whatever track you want. I like using the female. I think she's a little more, like I say, a little more fun, a little more like, a little more upbeat, you know. Especially when she's like, that's too many bottles. It's just like, oh, no. But it's kind of cool. So uh, so you can use whatever. The man, the man's kind of like monotoned. It's actually uh, uh, Paul Romney speaking. He's like, that's too many bottles. And it's just like, eh, not my, not my style. The lady's more of my style for my show. But anyways, this is the multiplying bottles. Any standard set will work. The set he uses in the DVD is a nine set where it's where it's three bottles of three, and uh, he uses the nine set. And at the end, the three bottles at the end change, and it's a color change. So like they're all this color, and then they'll change where one's white, one's yellow, and one's red. I don't have that set. I have a ten bottle set, which I'm using for the Paul Romney effect. But I just took out one bottle, basically like. I didn't, I didn't throw it away, but you throw it away, don't use it, and you can use a 10-bottle set and use it with this. Uh, a 9-bottle set if it's not the one with the three co with the color change ending. You can still use that. A 12-bottle set, 11-bottle set will work. Just get rid of a couple bottles. Uh, but this is a really great effect. I also changed the ending of the trick, too. The ending was just you produce two more bottles at the end, but I tied a couple silks on my multiplying bottles just because I thought it looked kind of cool. Almost like a color change ending. But except it's just they're just wearing a little fancy dancy neckties there. So this is a really great effect. I didn't like the Lance Burton effect, like I said. The one Lance Burton does, I don't think it's as good. It's not my style. This is kind of more of my style for my show. But it's the it's a great it's a great effect. It's the Paul Romney multiplying bottle routine. It's his own routine. And he uses this in his cruise ships and on his like doing his comedy shows. He does this effect silently. He liked to, He actually says in the DVD he likes to do the multiplying bottles silently, like a Charlie Chaplin type act is what he has. But he doesn't. But he couldn't do the multiplying bottles with it silent because no way to convey what's going on with an audio CD. That's why he made this trick as an audio CD, and kind of like the Vanishing Bandana. So it's a really great effect. It's Paul Romney's multiplying bottles. Go pick it up today because it's a really really killer uh, routine for the multiplying bottles. I mean, like I said, nothing wrong with the Lance Burton routine, but it just didn't fit my style of performing, and this one kind of fits my style a lot better than the Lance Burton routine. So it's the Multiplying Bottles, Paul Romney version. Go pick it up. It contains an audio CD with a male and female track and the DVD, and we'll walk you through step by step. Also, uh, before I end the video, I do want to say I did change the moves up, too. He teaches you a set of moves you do because there's some other, because you produce bottles in some unique ways other than what I did here. Um, so I had to change the handling up on this, the, on this effect too, because I have a 10 bottle set instead of a nine bottle set. If you change it up, you'll have to change the handling. So if you have a 12 bottle set, let's say you'll have to change the handling, uh, slightly. Uh, but it's not a big deal. I mean, cause like it, with the first bottle over here, when they say put, or uh, put that off to the side, you'll use it later or something like that. You actually do use this later. And uh, you make the bottle, I can't remember if you make the bottle jump over to here or if you, something happens with this other bottle that you leave off to the side at the beginning of the trick. 
that sits there the whole time because you I think what you do is you I, I don't I don't remember because I don't because like I said I had to change the handling so I don't remember what he even taught on the DVD really honestly I don't for the for, for the nine bottle routine but this is a great trick so it's the so you do have to change the handling if you have a different set of bottles than the ones he has in the DVD but other than that it's a great trick it's Paul Romney's multiplying bottle routine hope you guys enjoyed.